happening. All right, all right. Mars Base is calling in. Well, John and I can stick around and uh, well, keep I don't, people company. Don't speak for John, Jeremy. Yeah, jeez, you don't oh. know me. Yo, Mars Base, yo. Yo, Mars Base, yo. Yo, guys. How's it going? Goes good. How about yourselves? Oh, not I'm bad. Doing well. You're well lit today, I got to say. <laughs> like before, I didn't. I could not tell that Captain Kirk was holding a phaser. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think she's added an Orion That's slave awesome. girl to the, yeah. to the shelf. She was just behind my head last time. She looks oh, like okay. an Orion slave mermaid, kind of, actually, from down here. She's got a... She's got a lot going on. Yeah. Okay. She still kind of looks like a mermaid, actually. <laughs> or a Flintstones uh, Ryan yeah. Slave girl with that skirt there. It kind of looks like a Flintstones. Mm, big old feet. So what's well, on your Ryan's mind, Mars Base? <laughs> I was going to bring up a, uh, a Valentine's science story. Oh, oh okay. nice. Nice. Good timing. The, uh, the comet. There's a, uh, there was two big... Uh, satellites you know that have run into comets one that you know hit the comet and then you know flew down in the utah desert and crashed into a big pile of fail uh, <laughs> that actually brought back cometary uh, fragments and then there was another one um that had flown by another uh comet but the one that um oh and actually now i'm getting myself confused i know <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so there was a comet that um, fell into a pile of fail no not a comet <laughs> oh okay no. An asteroid. There was a satellite. It. Um, oh, a satellite, like an actual satellite. I thought yeah. you were just using a generic space body, like object. No, it was a uh, you know NASA <laughs> shot it off, mm -hmm. and they uh, threw off something that crashed into the uh -oh. into the comet and created a big crater. Right. And so then they flew through all the debris, mm -hmm. so they could and collect some up, scoop it up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, scoop some of it up, and then return stuff. They were looking for anyway, water and stuff, fun. right? They just wanted to see more about what uh, the comets were made of. They're pretty much the earliest uh, primordial um, satellites orbiting the sun. They've mm -hmm. been around for a long time, have not a lot of hap uh, has happened to them. So they're just trying to figure of, out more about them. Yeah, like the cool. time capsules. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you were going to mention so, the one coming up on Valentine's Day, right? I've read a little yes. bit about this. Yeah, they're uh, having a chance to bring another comet, uh, satellite that they flew by a comet um, years ago. And they're having a chance to fly by the one that they hit. So they're, so they're going to be able to take a whole bunch of pictures of oh, it. Oh, cool. So they're going to get um, to see some good pictures of the we'll impact. We'll call it a blind date. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kind of, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's took one trip around the sun. So they're going to be able to see how it's changed on an orbit, how hmm. getting close to the sun and shooting off, pulling off a whole bunch of stuff has happened to it. Maybe they'll even be able to see the crater where they crashed into it. Before we did that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just faced that object. On how it's rotating, but they were like, "Oh, sweet, that's us." <laughs> that's really neat. And that happens on Valentine's Day, or is that? Yes, that is going to happen on Valentine's Day. There's going to be, uh, I don't know how many pictures. That is a date, that's fast. date of astronomical importance. Whoa, <laughs> seventy-two high-resolution images. That'll take quite a while to get all get all the stuff back from it. But at that point... Um, so they're going to take seven. How big is the comet, did you say? I'm sorry? Uh, it is... Let's see if I can Random remember how much that is. It's interesting that they've is. already determined 72. It seems like it would just take as many... As many as, 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 many as it can. Maybe yeah. the memory card only stores 72. It's, it's a small SD card. <laughs> <laughs> well, for this kind of thing, it's, it's not so much uh, size. It is a matter of how fast they're flying by it. They're going to mm. have so uh, much time. They know how much time a picture is going to take. Sure. So they have it down to the second... How many pictures can they get it's in? Mm -hmm. You know, those satellites are, are drawn by, they're driven by pretty smart math. EP. I know every yeah. moment of those things has been, ca has oh, been yeah. calculated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really, it's intense is what it is. It, oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, the one that's uh, going to Pluto is going to take, you know, 10 years to get there. And they know exactly how many pictures they're going to be able to get, exactly how long they're going to be, um, you know, well, you know there what, and how long it'll You know what's got to be an interesting thing is, you know, we have like the Voyager probes and stuff that are going out there. You mean V'ger. V'ger, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you look at it now, like we could launch, I'm sure, something so much more technical, technologically advanced, but it doesn't matter because it's, you know, it's takes, already gone. Yeah, it takes yeah. forever to yeah, get right. there. So that's the just, whole yeah. thing with it, yeah. You just got what you got. Well, yeah, just that's uh, this New Horizons one that's going to Pluto. It's actually launched at a much faster rate than Voyager was. But because the Voyagers were launched at such a time that all the planets were aligned just right, they were able to get gravity assist from Little Jupiter boosts. and Saturn. So wow. Voyager 1 is actually the farthest man-made object. It's crossing into interstellar space, and the Pluto satellite cannot catch up with it. There's just no way. It's going to slow down very slowly. 
but because it doesn't have those extra gravity assists, it's and they not don't be think Voyager Voyager One has managed to move itself outside the pole of the sun, or so they think it's going to keep going. Yeah, Voyager it's 1? it's it's still yeah. going. I yeah. mean, it's uh, it's out there. I think twenty. 20, 20, so 25. What makes, the Pluto, so cool. what makes the Pluto probe slow down versus the Voyager 1 probe? Well, it's just everything's going to slow down eventually. I mean, there's okay. I mean, space is empty, but there's stuff there. So it's going to. Um, so stuff would slow eventually down. come mm-hmm. to a stop? Mm, no. Well, like. Maybe or, or, or over a That's really kind of a long, scale. long, long term hey, question man. there. I like to think long term. Yeah. <laughs> It's about the, matter, the amount of matter in the universe and if it's going to contract eventually. Or right. Right. I'm just wondering, though. Yeah. It seems like, it, I mean, they're obviously able to measure that Pluto is slowing, though, the, the, the probe. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> uh, you can still, obviously, whatever those objects or are, can, or, or Charon? can push on it already in a measurable way. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying it's fast. Yeah, okay. Now, Mars, I wanted to ask you, how did you find Jupiter Broadcaster? I probably already asked you that, but... Yeah, uh, I found it uh, stoked. I was actually, it was during uh, Stow Beta. I was... Uh, okay. Uh, champions for- online um, lifetime stuff, but waiting for my beta very impatiently and looking for uh, character creator stuff. Uh-huh. Found you on YouTube, and then slowly found all the other stuff, and gotcha. just cool. looked like everything. So, you know. Well, that's like, awesome. Uh, well, thanks well, for calling fine. in. It's like, good. We yeah, got some right. good space knowledge. I like that. Yeah, no, I love that kind of stuff. Yeah, really. <laughs> Mars has been very helpful because she's she follows she follows a ton of NASA stuff, and she's we've recently been seeing some of her mm-hmm. stuff in Google Reader. So I think we'll probably have a lot more space stuff in Jupiter Night coming up. Because that's cool. The cool. We love. All right, Mars. Base or anything else before we hang up on your face? Uh. Oh, in case you uh, anyone hears about this. Uh, Apophis asteroid that's going to crash into the Earth in 2036. Right, or whatever. Don't yeah. believe it. Okay, no. we're safe. We're good. Phew. Phew. Right, right, good. Comments I've been buying like so much water. Yeah, I've been getting anxious <laughs> yeah. already. Yeah. So <laughs> it was like a point zero 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 two percent chance. Big News Network mention it. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. I saw that. Is yeah. the Earth doomed in 2036? <laughs> no, no, no we're going to get to 20. There's a chance for something to happen. Yeah, there's a chance for you to get hit by lightning while right. light, uh, shark is well, biting Well, what's you ridiculous too. is it yeah. assumes we make it past 2012. I mean, we all know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. please, so. please. I've seen the movie. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen the movie. All right, Mars, thanks for calling movie. in. It's actually not that bad. All right, no problem. Day after tomorrow Bye. is actually Bye. better.